I'm Felicia, and today I want to talk about the travel language in Korea, which I find it very helpful and useful for me while I was in Korea. So since I have a nation book, so sometimes it's a bit confusing for people that they think I am Korean or something. So, but but it's good as well to speak to some of them, especially when we go to a bit rural place like Jeju Island and stuff like that. So I've learned, uh, of course, the basic. Greeting is 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요 is like nice to meet you, and that's nice to greet everyone. Like when you reach when when they're being nice to you, just smile 안녕하세요, and then nice to meet you. I was like 반가웠습니다, 반가웠습니다, and of course thank you. You have to learn 감사합니다, 감사합니다 means thank you, 감사합니다. Uh, Another thing I, I, I've been practicing very well. How much? This is how much. How much is it? I mean, my pronunciation is not that good, but it works out. Like, how much is this? But the problem is every time. I don't know how much. Every time they tell me the price. But the good thing about Korea is that you can ask for a discount. You can bargain. So... Remember, every time you break in, if it's an ajuma, like an old uh, lady, like auntie, you can call ajuma, 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 kakachuseyo, please discount for me, kakachuseyo, kakachuseyo, and they will give you discount. And, you know, I usually write in the calculator because I don't know how much when they put the one, one, how many. It's a bit confusing for me, so... But it helped me a lot in probably getting a local price to look Asian a bit. <laughs> Next, uh, I always know how to say, excuse me, uh, where is this? Uh, or where's the toilet? <laughs> because toilet is really important. So I always learn how to say, silihamida, excuse me. 화장실이 어디세요? Means, where's the toilet? <laughs> I need to go to the toilet, so... 화장실이, 화장실이 어디세요? 화장실이 어디세요? So, where's the toilet? Or if a certain place, like, location you want to go, 전주와 어디세요? Like, 어디세요 is where. So, certain place you want to go, you just copy the thing, paste it, and in front of 어디세요? And they would tell you, explain, and you would get it. And, um, please, <laughs> please, if, if, okay, again, if let's say you're on a bargain or you want someone to help you, to to <laughs> please help me, please help me, to to And, uh, if let's say you want to f ask if they have bread in this shop or pasta, that's what I sometimes have problem asking. I have to ask uh, if I would, if they have soju in this restaurant. I will have I will ask like soju isoyo, soju isoyo. Do you have soju? And they're like, hmm, andoe, andoe, andoe is no or andoe yo or something like that. They're just like no. If yes is um ne <laughs> ne. So um, that's what I've learned from Korea. Uh, it, people are really nice and friendly and very helpful. <laughs> the only problem in Seoul was all the drinking, alcoholic people. One guy even threw a slipper at another pedestrian because he stumbled and fell. I don't know why. I guess he was really drunk or cuckoo. But Korea was just so interesting. It's just like tall buildings, a mixture of tall buildings, and also traditional uh, temples and and uh, like palace. So uh, plus plus the skincare, beauty products. It's a heaven. It's a heaven. So if you go to Korea, do shop of their skincare products, and uh, really good, especially if, if you live in the cold dry country because yeah skincare products are very very moisturizing <laughs> thank you for watching and i hope this will be helpful for your next trip to korea bye bye korean or you know korea i'm sorry i'm not korean i don't speak accurate pronunciation that sounds like korean so do comment if you really think my korean sucks as well if you think my korean is all right Thanks so much.